I am Anil Kumar and here is an excellent question from previous test paper on sketching graph from given limits. Sketch the graph of an example of a function f of x that satisfies each and every one of these criteria, each and every one of these criteria. So let me underline this, right? So basically you need to sketch the graph of the function which satisfies all these conditions, right? So there, there are a couple of conditions here. I like you to pause the video, copy these conditions, try the solution, and then look into my suggestion. Conditions are, we are given one side limit for two different points. First, limit of f of x as x approaches minus 2 from minus side, means from the left side, that is minus 2. Limit of the function f of x, when x approaches minus 2 from the right side, it is 1. Limit of the function f of x when x approaches 0 from left side, it is minus 1. And when it approaches 0 from right side, it is plus 1. Value of the function at minus 2 is minus 1. Value of function at 0 is given to you as 2. And f of x has only one x-intercept, and that is at x equals to minus 1. So let us understand this question. We are given one side limits at two different points. So one side limit at minus 2 from left side is minus 2 from right side is minus is plus 1. The one side limits at 0 from left side is minus 1 from right side it is 1. Value of the function is given at both these points minus 2 it is minus 1 and at 0 it is 2. And we are also given the only x intercept which is at x equals to minus 1. So now you can sketch a function and I will also like you to write down the equation of your function whichever you sketch which satisfies all these conditions. So this is extremely good example for you to practice and get ready for your test. So here are the steps involved. So first thing is let me just make a graph here, so approximate graph. Uh, you should use exact good graph papers to work with such questions, right? So anyway, so these are my... Uh, let me just make a grid here okay so this much is enough and then we have uh, these lines it helps you know so it gives me some kind of accuracy for my rough sketches okay so that is the kind of graph now let us read and understand what we are given f of x is the function so we'll say x is horizontal axis f of x is y axis now we are looking for one side limit at minus 2. When you are approaching from the left side of minus 2, value is of the limit minus 2. So you are approaching minus 2. So this is this is minus 1 plus 1. These are your plus minus 1. So when you approach from the left side, in that case the limit is minus 2. So limit is what value you are approaching, not the point where you are. So so at x equals to minus 2, which is kind of here, we are approaching minus 2, which is kind of here. I'll make a hole here, and we are approaching from this side. So I'm just writing a small dash so that we get an idea that we are approaching from the left side. When you approach minus 2 from the right side, what you get is limit as 1. So the same point gives you limit of 1 when you are approaching from the right side. So from the right side, it is this value you are approaching. When you are approaching 0 from left side, you approach minus 1. So 0 from left side, you are approaching minus 1. So I'm just making this from the left side. From the right side, it is plus 1. Okay. So I, so from the right side, when you approach 0, then it is plus 1. So I'm making, making one hole here. So holes not filled in circles are the values you are approaching, right? You are not quite there. So these are the values you are approaching. Now let me sketch the values which the function has at these points. So at f of minus 2 equals to minus 1 means that at minus 2 the value of the function is minus 1, right? So at minus 2 the value of the function is minus 1. So this is the value of the function. At 0 the value is 2. So at 0, the value is 2. That means 
1, 2, right? So this is the value. So these filled in circles are the values of the function, okay? Oh, fine. Now f of x has only one x-intercept and that is at minus 1. So this is intercept, so that is also a filled in hole. So these are solid points, which are the real values of the function at these points. Now we need to sketch graph of a function which satisfies all these conditions. You get my point. So how are you going to connect this? That is what we have to see. So let's begin from the leftmost point. So when you approach minus 2 from the left side, you are approaching a value of minus 2. So what we can have, we can just draw a line here. Simple, right? So when you are approaching from minus 2, you are approaching minus 2. Do you understand? So that is the value you are approaching. But when you approach the side from the right side, you are approaching a value which is plus 1. However, we are also given that point to connect along going through x-intercept. So how can we connect these points? The best way to connect is to draw a straight line. So let's draw a straight line. Going from 1 to minus 1, crossing through minus 1. Do you understand? crossing through the x-intercept at minus 1. So that is a straight line which kind of got curved in between, but I hope you appreciate it. Okay. Now at 0, when we are approaching from the left side, so that line indicates when we are approaching from the left side, you approach a value which is minus 1. So this is minus 1, right? When you are approaching 0 from the right side, you really approach 1. That is this plus 1. Do you understand? So from the right side, so what I can do is I can continue my graph like this. Do you get an idea? So my graph is that from minus infinity towards minus 2, we have a horizontal line. Then there is a hole here filled in circle at minus 1 since the value at minus 2 is minus 1. Then, then we have a function which is a straight line with a negative 1 slope, correct? Connecting these two points. And then we have a horizontal line from 1 to infinity from x equals to 0, y equals to 1. However, the value of the function at 0 is 2 as given to you. This is 2. Do you get this? Now, that is how you should be actually sketching the graph in steps. Now, just let me add this. Now, I'll write down the equation of the function also, correct? So, let us see how to write down the equation. So, we have so many different pieces joined together. Let's begin by the leftmost thing, which is when x is less than minus 2. In that case, I have taken very, very simple examples, as you can see, right? So, the value of the function is minus 2. So, the value of the function is minus 2 when x is less than minus 2. You get the point, right? When x is equal to minus 2, we say when x is equal to minus 2, then the value of the function is minus 1. So that takes care of this, right? So it is minus 1. When x is between minus 1 and 0, so we say between minus 1 and 0, at that time, we have a straight line. The slope of this line is minus 1, right? One unit down as you move right one unit and y-intercept is minus 1. So, minus x minus 1 is that function, correct? Value the function at zeros, we say if x equals to 0, in that case, the value of the function is 2. So, I'll write this as 2, correct? And I have to add in one more. So, let me add in one more, okay? When x is greater than 0, in that case, the value of the function should be 1, right? No, sorry. Uh, let us see. Yeah, 1. So, so when you are approaching 0 from the right side, let me just check, then you are approaching 1. That is correct. So, 1. So, this is this part, right? So, when you are going away from 0, then I have this horizontal line. Do you see that? So, this is a piecewise function which describes the graph and the graph which describes the conditions. So i like you to go through this once again so that you understand the concept. It is kind of very critical to do like this. If you do a vertical line test, you will see at each and every point, vertical line test will pass and therefore it is a function, right? So don't make a mistake that when you sketch, you fail your function with vertical line test, okay? So minimum these conditions should be met. There could be anything else, right? That means you could have drawn 
lines like this also right so just to give you a variety that is possible so this type of question could have more than one solution that is fine but this probably is the most simplest of all the examples which you could have for this condition i hope you understand and appreciate it go through this and also go through my videos linked with how to sketch graph from given limits so that you get the basic concepts try some questions from your book so that you're absolutely ready for your test thank you and all the best